Hey everybody, it's Christopher here. Uh, this morning went to the um, train show in Melbourne, Florida, and afterwards went to Tom's, got a few things. Just do a quick video of what I got and, and stuff. So um, one of the things I'm really happiest about is um, I got these um, roundhouse kits right here for a great price. Basically, I got six of them for $19, so I figured that was like $3.16 or something a piece. So that was pretty good. Um, all of them are brown, except for one kind of a ash black. Although I'm going to start with that one, um, uh, build it, and mark it as um, East Ridge National Leasing. Um, other things I found pretty good at the train show was these two houses right here uh and came with people in it so that'll be good for just outside downtown over there on the other side of the layout now i also got um some more scenery stuff i just needed to you know i got two two things of these because i need to get the yard finished seeing it and i got some more under grass basically you know fine burnt grass fine turf so um i also got to speak gondola god knows i love a rail gone so you know can't wait to get uh get this on the rails and uh have the um 153 switch around a little bit first i gotta nip off the uh couple of pins first um i also got bought a whole box of just random uh, vehicles um, there's even uh, this which I don't know if I'm, I'll keep and put in my uh, collection or if I'm going to give to my really good friend's son he's already got some other stuff that I got him at the train show as well he's only three but I got a whole bunch of like, nice vehicles like this and all over time, I'll go and make them look nice. Some of them are too beat up, and they'll just go in my um, bruisers. You pull it uh, and just make sure that they're all crappy, you know. So um, I even got, it uh, came with these, which I don't know what I'm doing with. They're not going on the layout. They're just too, and I remember these as a kid. Um, I don't remember who makes them or whatnot, but. Uh, you think Tyco was crappy, even though these metal, there's not even a floor to them, it's just an open car. So, um, yeah. So, I also, oh, let me show you what I got my friend's three year old. Basically, um, well, oh, down here. In his bag, let me get it out. I basically got him Thomas trains. They had him, the guy had him for like, I don't know dollar a piece or something like that i don't know what they are you know but it is what it is i'm sure he'll like them because he likes playing with little cars and trains you know he's three years old <laughs> boy after my own heart so yeah um so basically i'm gonna go and uh start working on the layout uh going i gotta do a lot of cleaning oh i did get also another one of these um i have one on my layout and the point broke off the thing and i tried to fix it and it somehow ended up instead of me instead of it just gluing and i just dabbed a little bit on the toothpick and put it on there but it somehow decided it was going to get down and gum up the bottom so i'm going to see if i can fix that because guess what i bought this to replace that switch and I realized this is a left and I and I needed a right. I had it backwards in my head, even though I just looked at the picture that I took of it, like only a few minutes before I entered uh, the, the hobby store. But that is okay. I have um, over there in um, where the yard starts on the one curve, I have a um, really, really tight um, Atlas 83 switch that some cars don't like because it's a really tight. I'll put that there instead. So I wanted to replace that anyway, so I'll do that. 
So anyway, all right, I'm going to get some uh, work done, and uh, there will be some videos uploaded later of me uh, doing some scenery and running more trains. So, yeah, happy Monroe Roading. Peace out.